ready. So I've got my target and my mixed nuts, so I'm all set to do a training set with Kate and Martin. Come on, Kate. Here at the Bronx Zoo in the Madagascar building, we have five different species of lemurs. Out of all those species, though, the shafak is definitely my favorite. They have such a distinctive walk. It's that bipedal hop that you'll see. They live mostly up in the trees, so they need to have powerful back legs to do those long jumps. For them, it looks almost effortless when they just hop from one side to the exhibit with only touching one tree in the middle. It's extremely impressive. Okay. Good girl. This training is really important just for us to really get uh, hands on and being able to get tactiles on them. Touch. Good girl. And also just, you know, for them to stay comfortable with us and for us to build a relationship with them. Good boy. Currently, we have three Shafox here at the Bronx Zoo. We have our older female, Kate. We also have her companion, Martin. And then we also have our young female named Gemina. Gemina currently doesn't have a mate because she was previously housed with her mother, who was relocated to a different facility. So we are eagerly awaiting a mate for her. Target. Good. You come here. Good girl. They're just working on their treat right now. Might take them a bit. Kokoro Shafak is a type of lemur, and all lemurs are endemic to the island of Madagascar. Out of over 100 lemur species that are in Madagascar, at least a third are critically endangered. And this is the result of habitat destruction, which is in part due to the harvesting of ebony and rosewood. It's just nice to set up another breeding pair for Shafox in order to sustain the population. Hi. Hi. Okay. Bye bye. It's around 7 p.m. and we just arrived back from the Cincinnati Zoo. Okay, I'm gonna stop staring at you, we're gonna let you out. We have our male Shafak Andre with us. He's here to be a companion animal to Gemina. Mm -hmm. It's so quiet. I know, it's really quiet. Ready? What do you think? Come on out. It's exciting to get to know newer animals and make them comfortable. What do you think, buddy? There you go. Aww. Hey there. There you go. It's all new and different. Since he just got here, nice. we will observe him for the next few days and make sure he adjusts well before we introduce him to Gemina. I'm excited for them to meet each other. I think they'll make a good pair. Then he looks like he's settling in. His tail is straight. When they're nervous or anxious, their tail, they curl up their tails and kind of hug them. The fact that his tail is straight says that he's in a good place. Just checking it all yeah. out. He looks good. I think we'll leave the lights like this. Tomorrow we'll work on getting another spot up here for him. Wonderful. Excellent. Guys, you come down here. Good boy. You want another? Today we're going to introduce Andre, our new male Shafak, to Gemina, our female. Look how handsome Gem is. They've been seeing each other and interacting with each other from a distance. Can we come back? There we go. <laughs> and today's the day Andre. that we're going to give them access to each other through a mesh door. Let me do the other side. Yes. Yeah. These guys live in family groups, so they'll just be together once we introduce them. There we go. Come on, little man. Oh. We're looking for a lot of grooming, scent marking. We want them to be next to each other but not being aggressive at the mesh. That's why we put an intro door up, so we have a little more control over the introduction. Oh. Yeah. Now 
she's, she's a little frustrated, female. yeah. <laughs> the females usually get a little more agitated, whereas the male just, he wants to be with the female, he'll pursue the female, he'll chase the female, but sometimes the female are like, enough, and they'll chase the males back until they're ready, <laughs> until they're ready to uh, accept them, which he will have to learn. <laughs> right, mister? I would say it's going well. He is extremely interested in her. Very cute. They're calming down a little bit now. You think we should slow down, bud? You did so well. Yeah. We don't do introductions very often, so as somebody who's interested in behavior, it's very interesting to watch. Being able to see it is exciting. We'll continue with the howdy introductions every day, depending on how they're interacting. And from there, we'll remove the howdy door and they'll have a physical introduction. We're just hoping they hit it off. <laughs> Good boy. There's one down here, too. Jumping from tree to tree. Wow. <laughs> Good, that's for you. Got some brows. All right, let's go do this. Hi, guys. Hi. All right, hi. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> How has he been doing? Good, he's been showing a lot of interest in Gemina. He's showing a lot of interest in his keepers. And I think they're just anxious to be together. The plan is once they're together, they're together. She needs to assert herself and get comfortable. They just have to get to know each other and see what the boundaries are. First, we put up a howdy screen where they can actually touch one another and get closer. Andre and Gemina were very comfortable with that right away, so we knew we could move forward with the physical introduction. Ready? Let him open. He's ready. <laughs> yeah. All right. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. <laughs> Grooming. Oh, she's grooming him back now. Nice. It's definitely what we want to see. <laughs> They're a little overzealous, I would say. <laughs> you always can see a difference with introducing a very young male and a very young female who are inexperienced at being in a breeding pair with those that have been in that situation before. There's a lot of behavior that's genetically wired, but there's also a lot of learned behavior. They're trying to act out the adult behaviors, but they don't always know if they got it right. And you're watching it evolve as they get comfortable with each other. They look like they're wrestling <laughs> more than bonding, but eventually she'll cuff him and give him a little swat to push back. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, so she just moved away first time, and he's going to follow. <laughs> We really just want them to be a compatible pair. So the next step would be to introduce him to the exhibit. Gemina knows the exhibit, of course. It's great when you have one animal that already knows it, can teach the other animal. There's going to be a little bit of a, what you're seeing. <laughs> a little bit of chasing. A little bit. <laughs> Our job here is done. We may be done, and now we're just watching the show. <laughs> It is Andrea on the right and Gemina on the left. They know something's going on. They're super excited. And they also think I have nuts, which I do not have. <laughs> this is taking out the sumac. Sumac is their main browse. It helps with their digestion. So we can put this around. 
Andre, our new Shafak, has been here for about three months, and today is going to be his first day in the exhibit. He'll be going out with his new mate, Gemina. It's very exciting because you never know how they're going to react in the exhibit. This should make them feel more comfortable because they'll have something to occupy them. He hasn't done this yet. That's so. uh, Gemina. Gemina knows her way. <laughs> we hope he just follows her. OK. We are ready, yeah. Incoming. Go on, Gemina. Show him the way, though. When we introduce Shafaks to this exhibit, I'm always a little nervous because even though they're athletic animals, they do need to understand the lay of the land, so to speak. The Shafak exhibit is quite tall. I mean, it's 25 feet high, and there's a lot of features in there that allow them to use their natural locomotor abilities. Nice. Go on. Yes. Oh, they look so good out there. He is staying pretty close to her. Yeah. Woo! Their leaps are amazing. <laughs> but he's definitely like, I didn't know I could do this. We didn't have this much room before. I know. This is great. <laughs> They're venturing down. They're venturing down towards the sumac, hopefully. There you go. Andre looks great right now. He's exploring it like a champ. It's gone great. I'm excited that we were able to bring Andre here to breed with Gemina, because it's really important for us to sustain the Shafak population for our AZA zoos. But you're being a good teacher there, Gemina. Yeah, she's showing like this one moves. Yeah. <laughs> This one you gotta be careful of. <laughs> it's worked out really well. <laughs>